After all, welcome back to Oblivion. So last time, we assassinated a high elf who was quite literally high. Then we snuck into Fort Snatch and assassinated a warlord by poisoning his medicine, because frankly, we're a complete dick. We also got a mission from one of our Dark Brotherhood members. Uh, he was like an Argonian who grew up with another Argonian and he wants us to kill him. Frankly, I meant to do that whilst we were out there, but I forgot we're here now. So screw it, we're going to hand in our last mission. And then we'll go kill the other guy whilst we're doing the next one, so... There you go, and by the way, I am so damn glad that we have the key to this well now. You have no idea what a giant pain in the dick it was. Really? Maid? The hell are you doing? Oh my god, follow me. But uh, yeah, you have no idea what a giant pain in the dick it was going through the house every single time. It's like four load screens. It sucks. It really sucks. Right, so anyway, we have to find Ochiva, and it looks like it she's in here. And that's the guy we got the mission from. Hello, again. buddy. What up? Ah, so you infiltrated Fort Such, remained undetected, and replaced the medicine with the poison I provided. You are truly a master of shadow. I know. It pleases me greatly to offer you this reward and a well-earned bonus. Go now. Rest. I'll have another contract ready whenever you are. I'm always ready, baby. Hit me. So, are you ready to mingle with the doomed house guests? The contract is waiting. Badass. I remember this mission very well. It's a lot of people's favorite one in the entire game. Don't know if it's mine, but it's definitely up there. Either way, it's freaking awesome. Do you like parties? Yeah. Because you've been invited to one. Of course, you'll be killing all the other guests. Are you ready to attend? You might say I'm gonna gate crash. Splendid. You need to go to the city of Skingrad, to the large house known as Summit Mist Manor. There, you will meet up with five very unlucky guests. I'd say so. In order to receive your bonus, you must kill each guest secretly, one by one. If anyone sees you committing murder, the bonus is forfeit. The guests believe there is a chest of gold hidden in the house and have agreed to be locked inside until one of them finds it. In fact, the guests believe the key to the manor is inside the chest, and only by satisfying their greed will they be allowed to leave. Poor fools. What idiots? There is, of course, no chest of gold. The guests will find no key. After you arrive, the doors will be locked behind you, as everyone expects. When all the guests lie dead, you will be free to leave. Now go. See the doorman at Summit Miss Manor. He will explain the rest. Have fun. No, oh, I will, baby. Trust me. I will. But before that, I want to know what you know about Scartail, because apparently you grew up with him. Scartail is a traitor to Argonia and a blight upon Tamriel. Kill him, as my brother requests, and we will be forever in your debt. That didn't shed much insight, but okay. Uh, what about Shadow Scale? I see you have been speaking with Tanava. What he says is true. All our lives we have lived together in the shadows. We are eggmates, twins. We were taken at birth and given to the Dark Brotherhood. We returned to Black Marsh as Shadow Scales, trained in the arts of stealth and murder. Together, we served our nation as spies and assassins, as all Shadow Scales do. When we came of age, we joined the family as one, and here we are. Yes, quite so. With a lovely, touching story. So yeah, they are brother and sister. I thought Go they down were. To your family member, and may the night. And I'm gonna break his stuff. Uh huh. Right. So anyway, we need to. Uh... The hell are you staring at? Creepy. I think he really wants me to kill that guy. Anyway, so yeah, let's go take out the Shadow Scale Guide, Scartel, whatever the hell his damn name is. And then we'll go do the house guest quest. I don't know how long this is going to take, because like I said, I don't think I've ever done it. Maybe I haven't, I just don't remember, but I don't think I have. Maybe I do. I honestly don't remember, but yeah, we're going to take him out. I don't think it'll take too long, but we'll see. Wait a minute, where the hell am I going? I feel like I should have been there by now. Why do I not have the quest marked off? Wait, what? He's dead? Who the hell killed him? <laughs> I swear to you, I did not do it. I've gone right past Bogwater. Okay. Well, I went a long way past it. Okay, so, uh... Yeah, it seems like something killed him. And, like I say, it wasn't me. It certainly wasn't the mate either, because... 
I mean, I found the Oblivion Portal reasonably close to... Oh, by the way, we got a level up because uh, I was using Restoration, but... Uh, yeah, I found the Oblivion Portal reasonably close to it, but I don't think it was that close, so... I don't know what the hell killed him, but apparently something did, so... There you go! Anyways, let's go to Bogwater and find, Whoa. <laughs> find out what the hell happened! See, that's one of those things about Oblivion, Skyrim, or whatever. If something's not sensual and you have to kill it and it's out in the world, random shit can just attack it and kill it, so, uh... Yeah, apparently Scottell not not that powerful, because something... I mean, you never know, maybe there's like a giant boss Daedra or something over there, but... I very much doubt it, but I do have a lot of mods, so it's, an, it's a possibility, but... My guess is it was like a wolf or something, but... I guess we shall see. Keep up made for Christ's sakes. Right, where the hell is Bogwater? We are nearly there, I think. Is that the Oblivion Portal? No, that's a fire. God damn, I'm blind as shit. Well, to be fair, it is made out of fire. Are we okay, we found Bogwater. And we seem to have <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> we Did you die to a pig? What the hell, man? What the hell? He didn't even die to anything tough, he died to a freaking pig! Holy shit! Shameful display, sir! Shameful display! Okay, well, quest completed! Fair... Fair enough then, I guess. <laughs> That's some silly shit, some silly... Silly, silly shit. Right, well anyway... I did notice down here there was this thing, and uh, it seems to be related to Midas Magic, so we're gonna check it out in here. This may be a humongous dungeon, I really don't know, but... There seemed to- I did poke my head in very quickly, and there seemed to be some unique enemies in here, and I'm pretty sure they are for giving you Midas Magic unique drops, you know, ingredients you need to make Midas Magic spells, so screw it! We're gonna check around in here, and then, you know, we'll go do the, uh, the house guest murdering thing later. Die, slime! And yes, as I mentioned, this is not a normal enemy, it's part of Midas Magic, at least I think so. Why can I not loot it? See, I'm sure you're supposed to get slime jelly from those things, because you need slime jelly for some of the spells, but... Maybe you can only loot them very quickly as they're dying or something? I Maybe only certain ones drop stuff? I'm not entirely sure what the hell's going on, but, uh... Whatever, and they are real quick for slime, apparently. They- Get out of the way! That- That- Move! I know you're trying to kill shit, but I'm busy! What the hell are you fine? I don't know. Oh god, what's that? That's some creepy looking shit. Okay, so there's like a giant orb with gangly eyes. Fair enough then. And nothing has anything so far, which which doesn't bode well, because that's why we're here. We need ingredients for the Midas Magic. Oh yeah, die! Need ingredients for the spells. Can I loot? Damn it! I tried to click on the damn thing. See, the uh, the loot option did come up, but only briefly. So I'm guessing that's a trick there. Like you have to loot them immediately or something. I really don't know, maybe it's a bug. I am honestly not sure. Die, weird eye thing. Yeah, suck on that. I just realized it's a hatchling, so we're probably gonna find its mother at some point, which... Don't bore well, because those things take a bit of a bit- Oh, Jesus Christ! That, that actually scared the crap out of me, and that did a lot of damage. And it looks like we have may have- Oh, good, we may have found one of the mothers, because that thing is big and shooting lightning. Die! Yeah, it's a regular one. Well, hopefully we'll at least get some yeah. kind of a drop out of it, because so far the little fellas ain't dropping nothing. Hey, we got an eye. A beholden eye. That sounds awesome. Again, I assume that's an ingredient for one of the Midas Magic spells, so, uh... Yeah, we're gonna need this shit, and we also need your slime jelly. G give me the... I'm, I'm ready for that jelly. There we go, we got the jelly. Fantastic. See, so yeah, anyway, whilst we're here, I guess I should explain a little bit about Midas Magic, because uh, I don't know exactly how it works, but basically, as I mentioned, you need a gold nugget and certain ingredients to make spells. However, some of the ingredients that you need are unique to Midas Magic, meaning... Re what the hell's going on here? Were they all dead? That's gross! And convenient, but uh, yeah, anyway. Some of the ingredients that you need are not native to, native to the game. They are unique ingredients added by certain monsters, in Midas Magic, and by the way, it's awesome that we just found a bedroll we can get our damn level up. But, uh, yes, yeah, so, there's a bunch of dungeons in the game, usually accessed by a portal-type thing in the Midas Magic, Midas Magic store, but sometimes out in the open like this, and in these dungeons you get unique monsters and they drop unique drops, and then you can use those to make spells, so, some of these places you have to go to if you want certain spells, so, yeah, it's kinda cool, I like it, man, but, uh, yeah, I mean, as I mentioned, the dungeons in Oblivion aren't all that, but, it's not, a, it's not a vanilla dungeon, so if nothing else, we got some unique monsters to fight here, so... We're gonna go as far as we can, you never know, we might run into some really tough shit here. I think usually they have a boss, not always, but usually, so... We might fight a boss here, we might not, but... 
I'm kind of leaning towards the fact that we probably will. Now, we might not be tough enough to beat it right now. I'm kind of relying on the maid, quite frankly. Also, the enemies are probably going to get tougher as we go deeper, because that's usually a theme, so... This may go horribly, we may have to retreat, but hopefully we won't, because... I'd like to clear this and get the reward, because... Usually, you get some good shit. If nothing else, we're going to get the ingredients that we need. You know, if nothing else whatsoever. And this place is gigantic and confusing me already. I don't know, did we go this way? I don't think so? Hello? I, uh, okay, almost stepped on that. It's a ball and chains, I probably wouldn't do that much, and there's a pumpkin. Why is there a pumpkin? That, uh, 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 gotcha. I get the feeling you probably need, in fact, I'm sure you do need some pumpkins for some of the spells, but... Don't really want to carry that shit around me right now. I know where we can get a bunch in the Imperial City, so I'm not really too concerned about that, but, uh... I would assume it's there, because it's an ingredient, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Okay, we're going in here because I think we've cleared out this section, at least I think so. Okay, the meter's with me. And we're going into some water. That don't bode well. Could be anything down here, literally anything. And it can fight us, so... Yeah, go on to be careful. Hello? It's a big fella. Well, seems like it's good time as I test out our new glass bow of death, and, you know, we'll get some archery XP and nothing else in the process, because... God knows we need it. Like, we really need to start using the bow some more, because that's one of the uh, attributes that will level us up, so... That's one of the things, at the start of the game, you need to pick skills that you know you're going to use, because if you don't use them, you're never going to level up as much as you can. Yeah, suck on that, because you didn't help me once. God, you're useless. Do you have something? Yes, you do. Okay, do you? No. So it seems like the hatchlings probably aren't going to drop anything. I mean, I'll continue, you know, trying to loot a few of them, because I want to make damn sure, but so far, not a single one has had anything, and all the big ones have. Now, we've only killed a couple of the big ones, so it might have been a fluke. You never know. But uh, it seems like the little ones aren't going to drop us anything, so I'm guessing they're just there as cannon fodder to kind of be a dicks and just get in the way. If you could die, I... It's, why is this one so freaking tough? Thank you. My god. Oh shit, didn't quite kill this one. Well, I uh, may as well go with the Sword of Justice. Duh. They do die quite easily, I've got to say, but I get the feeling if they hit us, they're probably going to hurt like crap, so... Don't want that to happen. Yeah, none of those have any. Well, we're not going to loot any of those little fellas anymore, because there's like five or six in a row now, and not damn ones had anything. And usually with the Magic Maker spells, you are only going to need one, maybe two or three of the unique ingredients, so... We've already got a couple of the Eyes of the Beholden. We might need a bunch of them, but I doubt it, so... That might even be enough, but we'll keep looting them as we come across them, but yeah, the little fellas don't seem to have a goddamn thing. Right, so we didn't go in this direction, at least I don't think so, and it splits off, apparently. What's in here? Uh, good question. There's nothing in here. Well, all right then, I guess we're going this way. Well, that narrows it down, I guess I don't see the point in that room. Oh, God, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? Okay, we don't want that thing to come near us. Yeah, you go find that. It takes very little damage. Oh, shit, it's like a freaking swamp monster. This is awesome, but scary as hell. I, I want to melee you, but oh, God, yeah. Took off like a quarter of my, well, maybe not quite a quarter, but... They got a lot of freaking HP. And, uh, you don't seem all that weak to basically anything. Well, shit. Ah, he's distracted. Jump attack. Well, it was, it was kind of a jump. I tried. I tried, goddammit. Okay, well, he is dying, so good news we can kill him. At least, you know, at least he starts... Oh, God, what the hell was that? There was like a whole bunch of debuffs. That's no good. But it looks like we can't kill him unless he just starts regenerating HP at an insane rate or something. And the sword is a lot more powerful than what we had before, so... Ah. Yeah, it looks like we can kill them, but we have to be really careful, because he's, uh, he's beating the shit out of me. And, uh, beating the shit out of the maid, apparently. Guy, it, oh shit! Okay, nearly died. Do we have potions? Yes, we do. We have potions, how about you? We don't have potions anymore, we used to. We, we leave, thank you. Holy crap, we killed it. <laughs> the sad thing, we got, uh, slime hearts. Yoink. And there are enemies nearby. Well, shit, that don't bow well. But yeah, I, I was gonna say... That's probably just a regular enemy, and that was like a freaking boss fight, so... It, it really doesn't bow well. I, I'd like to get some distance here so we can wait around, because I want to get my HP back, because we don't have any potions or anything, and the restore menu is going to take forever. Not that the game is letting me, so I guess we don't have much of a choice here. But yeah, there's probably a whole bunch more of those. Hopefully there's not, but... Let's be honest, there probably is. So, yeah, and they're probably down here somewhere. I see one in the distance. Okay, so we're going this way, because the other way looks like death to me. Or at least, you know, a long freaking fight. Okay, so what the balls is going on up here? If nothing else, it looks like we're not going to be fighting the big fellas up here, because A, there's no swamp up here, and B, 
They should be too big to fit in here, but you never know. Maybe the screw. Oh, hello. Okay, it's a little fella. This this pleases me. I don't know what the hell you were shooting though. That scares the crap out of me. And we got a gold vein. Nice. This is another thing that Midas Magic tends to do: is areas where you have to go for Midas Magic. You tend to get gold, which is what you need, which is handy. It wasn't originally like that. I remember there used to be like a gazillion people complaining on the forums that it was really hard to get gold, and you need a piece for every single spell. It's still hard, but he added the thing that sort of melts down gold jewelry, and he added locations like this that have gold veins. So, you know it's a lot better than it used to be, because it used to be a giant pain in the dick. Like, you basically had to use the console to cheat, because there was no damn way you was going to get enough gold, which kind of silly. Now we could pick the guys off from up here. Where the hell's he gone? I don't know. What's up, buddy? Duh. But say, uh, yeah, we could pick off the big fella from up here, but at the same time, I don't necessarily... What the hell? Uh, I... I think it's body... Oh, shit, it's two of them. See, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we were supposed to use that to drop on the fellas, but his body seemed to crash into it and knock it down, which really sucks, but, uh... Yeah, anyway, I was gonna say we could pick him off from up here, but our bow doesn't exactly do a whole lot of damage to them, sir. So. It would take like a million years and we aren't carrying that many arrows, so I don't necessarily know that that's going to be worth it. It's probably better that we just go down there and rely on the main to do the tanking, because we can do some damage, but it's mostly the damage they do to us that's a problem, so... Yeah, we'll worry about them later. God, that's scary. These planks better damn well not break. Okay, I know they can, I remember that. That may have been just in one particular quest mod that I did, I'm not entirely sure, but I remember those planks, planks breaking, so... Plank... Let's try again. Planks breaking. God damn it, brain. But yeah, I remember that cell. It's kind of concerning. Oh, hello. Kind of concerning to me. What the hell are you doing? Turn your back on me. You never turn your back on the hero, otherwise you freaking die. Very, very slowly. We're out of charge, which is not handy. Not handy at all. Okay. Stick a move. Stick a move. Good lord, you have too, too much HP. What the hell? Ah, shit. It's paralyzed me. And uh, it's eating me. And I don't have any potions. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I do I know? I don't have any. Shit. Okay, run. Okay, but you son of a bitch! God damn it! Well, that sucks. At least we are checkpoint on the bed, but god damn. Okay, give me a moment here to get back to where we were. Okay, we're back where we were, and I'm getting my sweet freaking revenge on this guy from a distance like a complete coward. Because damn it, I don't want to get murdered by him horribly again, because that was ridiculous. I thought they seemed kind of easy, because they go down fairly easily, but with paralysis, which is cheap as shit, by the way. Just pinning you down the floor and munching the crap out of you, if you ain't got no potions to heal with, you are screwed, because... Obviously, you can use potions when you're down from paralysis, that's fine, but if you have potions, you have to rely on your magic. If you can't cast it because you're paralyzed, you're literally screwed. There's not another goddamn thing you can do. Okay, we... Oh, God, there's what... Holy shit, the mage just bends out down there like a badass. Well, Godspeed to you, because I ain't going down there right now. We'll go down and help her in a second, but I want to make sure we take out all the crap over here first. And I also want to see if we can drop the logs on their heads. Now, it's entirely possible that A, it may miss entirely, seems kind of likely, or B, it might just wipe out the maid. But hey, if it wipes out the maid, if nothing else, it'll be funny, but I get the feeling it's probably not even going to hit them, because they seem to be nowhere near where the logs are. And, you know, if we had, like, a coherent two-man team, we could get her to lure them in that direction, but she's an AI, she ain't that freaking smart, so... We can't rely on that shit, so they're probably not going to be any use, but we can always try. It's not going to work, but we can try, goddammit. Right, so uh, it looks like we cleared everything else. Yeah, they are nowhere near the logs. Like, freaking nowhere near. Well, she's almost killed one. Well, she's like half killed one on her own. That's something. It's more than I would have done. And our bow is not doing a damn thing. Right anyway, I want to check out what's going on with these logs, because, yeah, we can't push them. You won't do it, but it's not going to work. Well, it was fun. Right, so, uh, yeah, I, I want to jump down and help her, because the bow is, you know, it's doing some damage, but it's so freaking tiny, and we can maybe help her kill that one, then we only have one to deal with, but at the same time, if I get cornered between the two of them, like Velociraptors in Jurassic Park or some shit, I'm going to die. Okay, one's down. Right, okay, you scared the crap out of me. Don't do that. Okay, okay, we will go down and fight it in a second, but before we do that, let's take the coward's way out and use our enchanted arrows, because... Let's be honest here, we're never going to use the damn things normally, so we may as well get some use out of them, and, you know, if nothing else, do a little bit of extra damage to this guy before we go down, you know, soften him up. It's tactics, goddammit. It's not being a pansy, it's tactics. Now, I get the feeling, being like a swamp monster, he would, in my mind at least, 
be weak to fire and maybe not so much ice, but you never know. Where the hell are you made? I need your help. This thing is chasing me. Okay, we got another slime heart. Thank you, buddy. Now, um, we're in a corner here, and this is kind of concerning to me because the guy's coming at me. He's kind of slow, so maybe we can make our way around him, but I don't want to have to do that. The maid is at least attacking him, but uh, he seems kind of intent on killing me. I, I didn't kill you, but in fact, I think I did. I was going to say I didn't kill your buddy, but I think I got the killing blow, so uh, yeah, sorry about that. It's probably like his swamp wife or something. What the hell are you doing, dude? It looks like he's stuck in, uh, maybe? I get the feeling you probably can't get to me from here, but yeah, our range attack is shitty. Like, really bad. Since we've got some more magic now, well, we still can't use prism spray, apparently. Let's go with sparks, I guess. It's... It's still not that great, it's probably still gonna chew up our magic power, but nowhere near as much as it used to do, and you never know, he's a swamp monster, maybe he's weak to lightning, because, like, water conducts electricity or something, I don't know, I'm guessing here. I get the feeling I beat the crap out of me there, because a really big HP bar kept coming up, it may be, I healed him and that was his HP bar I was seeing, but I don't know why it would heal him, so, yeah, I'm hoping it was her, yeah, okay, he's, th thank god, I, I thought I'd healed him for a second, and no, it was just me being up the maid, which, frankly, you deserve that. Okay, now just, just, no, no, no. God damn, you got some reach on that shit. Okay, please tell me this is the last swamp monster. These things are insane. It's times like this, I really wish I brushed up on my archery, because, uh, you know, considering how damn bad it is, we're doing possible damage. I was going to say reasonable, but that's a strong word. We're doing noticeable damage. You know, we, we can, we can kind of see the effect it's having on him somewhat. It's, it's sort of effective, you know, kind of. So if we had really good archery, we could probably beat the shit out of this guy. You know, a really good bow and some great arrows, but unfortunately we ain't got much. And there are so many arrows swimming around here. Okay, it looks like he's slow enough that we can sort of go in and out and, you know, just... There we go. Finally. We slayed the freaking giant. God damn. Okay, I'm going to end it here next time we explore the rest of this place and hopefully take on a boss. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like. And I will see you next time for more Oblivion.